Ben 10 has always been one of my favorite cartoons. I used to play Ben 10 games on the PlayStation, in the browser, or anything similar to that. And recently, well, maybe not so recently, Cartoon Network launched an official Ben 10 game on Roblox. And that gave me an idea. What if there was a Ben 10 version of Brookhaven, with aliens, futuristic technology, and, of course, the Omnitrix. To start doing this, I'm going to come here to the search tab and search for Ben 10. And luckily for us, here in Roblox Studio, there are many Ben 10 items for us to use in our map. For example, I'm going to place this symbol exactly here on top of the normal Brookhaven font. I'm also going to change the color of the Brookhaven font to black to match our Omnitrix. I'm also going to remove this one water that's here below the font and I'm going to place this green liquid that is potentially toxic in the place where the water used to be. We'll also modify the colors of the lobby to make it more similar to our Omnitrix. Well, of course, in an alien ship, there wouldn't be these plants that exist here on Earth. That's why I'm going to remove this plant that's here and I'm going to place this alien plant that I found in Roblox Studio. And let's put this new type of plant here inside the old pots. I'm also going to delete these posts with the white color and I'm going to place these posts with the green light instead. Well, now I want to modify these trees in the lobby, but I'm a bit undecided because I found these two alien trees and I don't know which one to choose. So, if you want me to choose this one, give the video a like. And if you want me to choose this one, comment Ben 10 there. And for us to be able to place these new trees, we'll have to delete these trees here in the Brookhaven lobby because I want to put one of those that will be chosen now by you guys. And well, the winner of this round was this blue tree here. So we're going to increase its size quite a bit and put it where the old Brookhaven tree used to be. Now we duplicate it, put it on the other side. And to better match our lobby, I'm going to select these two trees and we're going to paint them in green too, which will look much nicer like this. Well, now I'm going to make a small change to the streets because as far as I know, in space there are no normal roads. And now that all the streets are clear, we can paint them black and put that same texture that we used in our lobby to make it look like a spaceship floor. Gradually we're turning Brookhaven into a huge alien ship. And speaking of that, it's time for us to modify the Brookhaven sky to make it look like we're in space. The first option we have is basically this one, where we make the sky completely dark. We can see the Earth there basically as if we were getting close to it. Okay, before continuing to build our alien ship, I'm basically going to create the location of the Omnitrix crash right here in this spot. So, we basically need a crater here, right? Like this one. But we'll have to increase its size a bit like this to make it look like a huge impact. And in the middle of this crater, I'm going to place the capsule where the Omnitrix is located exactly exactly here. I'll just decrease its size a little like this. Now we just need to take this classic Ben 10 Omnitrix and place it exactly inside the capsule. So, even though we put the Omnitrix inside the capsule, this place still doesn't look like the meteor crash site from Ben 10. So, how about we add some fire near the capsule to make it look like it really destroyed several things. Let's just increase the size of these sparks a little to make it look more natural. And I'll also paint this crater brown to match the soil inside Brookhaven. Furthermore, I'll take this part of the crater so we can create a path of destruction as if it were really the impact of a meteor. Now we just need to place several of these trees here to make it look just like that forest where Ben finds the Omnitrix for the first time. And well, unfortunately I didn't find the classic Ben 10, but I found this Ben 10 from the reboot where he also finds the Omnitrix there in the crater. So, it'll be right here outside the crater as if he had already taken the watch. Here near where the Omnitrix fell is basically a camping spot where Grandpa Max and Gwen will be. In fact, I've already already put her. See her part here? And she looks just like the one from the cartoon. Searching here in Roblox Studio, the only Gwen I found was basically this one in that mage form that she only stays in during Shippuden. Actually, it's from Ben 10, Ultimate Alien, but it's the same thing. And the only other Gwen I found similar to the normal one from Ben 10 is this one, but she's full of scars on her face, so she didn't look very good. And to serve as Grandpa Max, I'll use this old man from up since I didn't find another Grandpa Max here in Roblox Studio. Well, I'll put Grandpa Max here near the old car and Gwen I'll put her near the fireplace. Just facing away from us so we don't see her face. Okay, now at the end of the lobby, I'm going to place some futuristic cars to make it easier to explore our Brookhaven. Honestly, I don't even know if most of these cars will drive, but they sure are pretty. Yeah, some of them aren't that nice, but if they fly, it's worth it. I'll even modify some filters in Brookhaven's buildings, such as the police station, which I'll turn into an intergalactic police station. So, instead of the blue color of the police station, I'll paint everything green.
seen. And instead of Brookhaven's helicopter, I'll put this spaceship here that is really cool and probably much better than the helicopter. Furthermore, I'll also place some space police cars here that are very different from the normal one. Inside the police station, there won't be any police officers, only these little robots here that look a lot like Among Us characters. Now we just need to paint the police station's colors black and we're done. Well, unfortunately, Brookhaven's airport was useless for our spaceship since our spaceship already flies, right? But instead of Brookhaven's plane, I'll basically put this gigantic oh spaceship here. So, how about we place this spaceship here in the air like this, and we'll move it back a bit to make it look like it's invading our territory. And of course, to protect us, I'll basically use a force field. But this force field has to be much larger. Let's position this force field exactly over our city. And I think this one can even be a bit smaller because I wanted to only defend this part of the city center where all our buildings are located. And like everything in Ben 10, this force field will be green. But of course, since this is an invasion, basically they'll be shooting lasers at our force field. I'll just increase the size of this laser a bit to make it more powerful. Let's place it directly facing our force field. And now we just need to duplicate it to make it look like there are several shots coming our way. This way it really looks like the spaceship is trying to invade our force field by shooting several lasers at it. But of course, Ben 10 won't let these guys invade. And he transformed right here into Alien X, which is the most powerful alien in the Omnitrix. Let's just increase the size of our Celestial in quite a bit and I'll place it a little further away so we can have a real battle. Increase its size a bit more. And now Alien X really seems to be extremely powerful. Just like the spaceship, Alien X will also shoot lasers, but the lasers will be green. And we'll also increase the size of that to make it more powerful. Now we just need to place several lasers as if he were shooting as well. And look how cool. It really seems like there's a super fight going on here between Alien X and these invaders. But of course, we also can't forget to add Ben 10's classic aliens like here for arms and feedback. I also found upgrade here to put in our Brookhaven and it's actually quite well made despite being a bit square, right? I also found these other weird versions of aliens that are actually quite strange. But aside from feedback and four arms, I'll stick with these other aliens here so we have various varieties of different aliens. And after all these modifications, Ben 10 Haven is ready to be tested. And guys, I just entered the Ben 10 map. But before showing you how our map turned out, like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these map creation videos here in Brookhaven. And the first thing I wanted to show you is basically Ben 10's aliens. As you can see, man, they're all messed up, bro. Along with him, all the aliens we put in here at the same time are all destroyed. Look at Ghost Freak's eye. Where is it? Man, but at least upgrade here is almost intact, right? Just as I fell off a bit in four arms. And feedback is practically fine, right? He's just taking a little nap here. One thing I'm dying to test out are these ships here if they really fly, you know? So I want LL enter this ship here that looks like a car, a truck, and all. Well, I think this first car here doesn't work much because there's no place for us to sit, no button to press, nothing. But no problem because there's this other futuristic car here that I think will work. I just have to sit in it. Okay, and look how cool this car is. Man, it really looks like an alien car. Like, unfortunately, it doesn't fly at all, but at least it drives pretty fast. Man, I think it's even a bit faster than regular Brookhaven cars. Okay, I have another alien car here that basically it flies apparently. And okay, I got in it. But how do you drive this? Like, I can turn here and all, but I can't really drive it. I can't go forward or up. This car here seems to be a bit broken. But ignoring the things that didn't work, the rest of our map is amazing. There's a force field preventing aliens from invading our city here. Alien X is fighting against a space fleet attacking our city. The entire Brookhaven is in space now. And of course, we can't forget that our lobby looks extremely beautiful. And folks, unfortunately, this video here is over, but there are other super cool videos for you to watch on the screen. Thank you very much to everyone who watched the video until the end and see you in the next video. Bye!